So it's really nice to be here with you today, Sean, on this summer's day. So we're going to go through a bit of the kind of inquiries that we get. One of them, a lot of people seem to think they see a, a hummingbird in their garden. Is this possible here in the UK? I mean, that would be super exciting, but obviously there are no wild hummingbirds here in the UK. So what they've more than likely seen is a hummingbird hawk moth. These are day flying moths with an average wingspan of about two inches and their experts are hovering. So they'll continuously dart from one flower to another, rapidly beating their wings, which does give the illusion of a hummingbird. Hummingbird hawk moths can be found all across the UK, but their numbers generally peak in August time. They're successfully able to breed here, but they can't really survive during our winters. They're attracted to flowers that produce plentiful nectar, so honeysuckle, jasmine, petunia, and they have excellent memories, so they can return to the same flower beds every single day around a similar time. They're much better at remembering things than I can anyway. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> so as well as that, Katie, we, obviously we associate webs with spiders, but we also know that other insects can produce similar webs. What do you know about that? Yeah, absolutely. It can look a bit eerie, a bit weird, um, but yeah, as you say, generally webs are associated with spiders, but here in the UK we have ermine moths. So there are three species within that family that create this webbing. It's the orchard, the bird cherry and the spindle. Yeah, can overcome kind of trees and hedges, but they're absolutely harmless. It's absolutely fine. There's nothing to worry about. It's just an ingenious way that these moths kind of gather together for safety. It's basically their home. And even though the trees will have lost their leaves, you know, that's absolutely fine. They will carry on as normal and just grow back their leaves. So yeah, even it can look a bit weird, but nothing to worry about at all. So another species of insects that we get asked quite a bit about is the wasp spider. What can you tell us about these? So the wasp spider is an excellent example of how insects use camouflage to blend into their environment. They have very striking black and yellow markings and that obviously mimics the common wasp. It's used basically to deter potential predators whilst they're not actually being dangerous themselves. The wasp spider builds large orb webs on grassland and heathland, typically quite low down in the vegetation. And that obviously acts as an excellent way to um, target unsuspecting prey, such as um, grasshoppers, other moths, spiders and flies. The wasp spider is relatively new to the UK and most of the population is down in the south, but they're gradually moving further northwards. In fact, we actually have a very small population here at the lodge, our headquarters and you can often be searching for ages trying to pick them out. When you finally notice their black and yellow markings, you'll suddenly see so many of them and it'll be quite like a, a fun thing to do. Yeah, that sounds really exciting for our visitors. And also closer to home, they can also create homes for wonderful insects such as bug hotels, log piles, you know, insect-friendly borders in their gardens and balconies. So yeah, it's really important to give these insects a home.